Hey everyone, Stoic Jacobs here, and today I'm going to be playing through Turbo Overkill. Uh, this is just going to be kind of more of like a casual commentary playthrough, something that I haven't really done too much on the channel, so we're not going to be going for 100%. And the main reason for that is because I've only played this game a few times, I've gotten pretty good at it, but I still don't know where everything is. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump in, have a good time, and... See what happens. Oh, wait a second. I'm on this, right? Oh, what the hell? It deleted my first profile. Wait a second, no, 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 that's... That can't be right. I went to save game two. I went to campaign, I went to... Delete profile. Remove profile one. What? That's an oversight, if I ever seen one. I'm on profile two. Okay. Let's go to profile one. Huh. Okay, weird. Okay, profile two. I don't know, it restored everything. What? what? That's so weird. Okay, you know what? We got that. Gonna do Murder Machine. As you can read there, projectile speed is 1.7 times faster than base. Uh, damage is also 6.66 <laughs> more than base. And when you compare that to 1.45 and times 3, that's quite the improvement. So yeah. We're just gonna go in, have a jolly old time, kill some stuff, and see how it goes. I do know where all the secrets are on this first level, so I'll grab them here. And I know where most of the secrets are on the second level, so I'll just grab the secrets I know about, maybe discover some new ones along the way, but... Main thing is just go in, have a good time, kill stuff. That's really it. I'll try to not do a completionist thing, just because I know that... I will get stressed if I do that. Instead, we're just gonna sit back, relax, and watch a good cutscene. This game has really good cutscenes, in my opinion. Very stylized. We have arrived, sir. Best make this a quick trip. Paradise isn't the place you want to be for long. Oh, well, that's for damn sure. Unless you're me, then I kinda wanna be here for a while. You'll see. It's a good. The sin virus is rapidly spreading its tendrils across the city. Your mission, burn it out. Purge it at absolutely any cost. Good Damn luck, straight. Alright, let's do this shit. Yes, and we get a chainsaw leg, because that's how you know it's a good FPS. And it's not just for show either. You can just dash straight into enemies and kill them with it. Most all the light enemies in the game will just die to it as soon as you tap them, so that's good. Yes, there's a first secret. You can also do like a dash jump, and you can pair it with your double jump. So, dash jump, dash jump, and you can combine it with your two regular dashes for basically quad dashes. It's really good. The amount of horizontal mobility you get in this game is pretty bonkers, I gotta say. I don't think I've seen another game with this much horizontal momentum. I know the Ultra Kill has a lot of really cool movement tech, but in terms of just like really easy to understand and pull off movement, I think this game takes the cake. And look at this guy. I don't really get all the hate surrounding him, but I'm not like in 100% agreement with him either. I'm not like one of those you know, Mayo fanboys, it's like, oh yeah, he's the best. Like, I know that he's made some mistakes, but I also don't think he's a bad person either. He's just a dude. He makes good videos. I like his editing style, and I think some of his critiques are pretty well-founded. Not on every game, obviously, but, you know, it's, it's good. People are allowed to have their opinions. I guess people just don't like opinions for some reason. It's like, oh no, he doesn't like exactly what I like. That's bad. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you know what's good is this pistol. This fucking pistol is the best. I mean, just look at that. You don't even have to aim. It just... You know how, like, people were complaining? And by people, I mean Mayo. Okay, that is the one thing I will critique, critique him on because I think that's funny. Like, he was, like, saying, like, Ultra Kill's revolver was OP. He hasn't played this game, obviously. Which is weird because he actually has played this game. But this revolver, like, if you thought Ultra Kill's revolver was broken, nah, this. This thing's busted. For real. The nearby bio core is located in the basement of the facility. This is probably the most busted weapon in the entire game. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. Ooh. Alright, so you know what makes the same busted? Is not only does it lock on the enemies, but you can shoot those enemies through walls and I'll prove it. See, look, I'm gonna go all the way over here. They're dead. Yeah. That, that's why this thing is busted. You can literally just go into a room spinning, go, hey, how's it going, and then, like, just hide behind a wall and not give two shits. Like, you'll hit them. It's guaranteed. That you will kill them. Regardless of where you are. Yeah, look, and then we got 100%. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so, busted revolver, but... You know what? It's fun. Like, like that's the thing. It's like, the revolver is super busted, and in episode 2 it gets even more busted, but... It's such a fun weapon to use, I almost don't feel like complaining about it. Yeah, use, use a little tuna, buddy! <laughs> yeah, that's good right there. I like that. <laughs> wee wee! Got some guns right there! You got a tuna, buddy! <laughs> hey, hey, where's the fire and brimstone, oh, it's so man. stupid. We need that virus purged now! Terratech stocks are in free fall! We can't pay you if we're broke! Uh, good point. Okay, I guess I have no choice but to help them out, even though I don't want to. Ooh. Yeah, see how much damage I did? Oh yeah, you know what else is kind of weird about this game is... With the difficulty, at least... If you read it, it actually says that projectile damage gets multiplied, but melee damage, as far as I can tell, doesn't get multiplied. So basically playing on higher difficulties doesn't make melee enemies any more threatening. It literally just makes these guys more threatening, like the guys that shoot projectiles. I think one projectile of theirs does 60 damage. Pretty sure it's like 60 damage or something along those lines. It's pretty crazy. The amount of DPS they're able to churn out. But yeah, projectile enemies are the most scary. Uh, all the melee enemies though, like they're pushovers. Absolute pushovers. Yeah, like him. Oh yeah, and also, like, even if they are projectiles, you can just dash all over the place, and chances are, if you're good enough with your movement, you won't get hit. But I'm not good, as you can see, I just died. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I guess I'll blow those up, I didn't do that last time for some bizarre reason. Yeah, see? It still hurts, don't get me wrong, but, like, it's not bad. Like, it's not 60 damage bad, like the projectiles are. Alright, uh, let's see, I need that one. I always forget about that one. Okay, so we got it, that's good. Uh, is there anything in the water here? No. I know that, like, in a few locations there's gonna be secrets underwater. Oh yeah, now we get the Uzis, which I don't really like until you get them upgraded, then they're good. Before you get them upgraded though, they're kind of stinky, not really a big fan of them. They don't really feel like they do that much damage. They're also pretty inaccurate, as you could imagine. Yeah, but this revolver... 
absolutely insane. Oh, excuse me. Oh yeah, you know what the best part about it is? The fact that it has such a short cooldown as well between shots. You can't exactly spam it, but I mean, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to being spammable. Alright, so now we got ourselves a good upgrade. I'm actually going to go back to this guy right here. Oh yeah, and the machines kind of talk and have like little jingles and stuff. If that sounds like a familiar concept, then I know System Shock and later Bioshock would do similar things. Bioshock's probably the most famous for it. Having like the little talking vending machines like, Welcome to the Circus of Values! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, that little dude. But yeah, that's what we got going on over here. Oh yeah, now every time that we melee enemies we get six armor. Which might not sound like a lot, but there are lots of mobs in this game of just like brainless enemies that run at you. So pretty good to just kind of get armor off of, if you ask me. Alright, so here's the next cassette tape. And the third one I believe is kind of near the end of the level, if I remember. Again, I haven't really studied this game that much. I haven't... Like, the times I have played it have just purely been for fun right now, so... Can't say I'm an expert at it. Core in the vicinity. Once you've purged it, I'll come pick you up. The bio cores are safe uh, here it is. to the physical world. We originally used the cores to speed up the augmentation process. Now... Sin's using them to pump out whatever godless abstract madness it can imagine! Make Damn, this person talks a lot. Jesus. Get out here. Sink like a stone. Ooh, sink like a stone, eh? Hey, fat tone. What do you think about that? It sinks like a stone. It rhymes. Ah, ba 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 ba. Alright, there. I didn't even need to use the revolver, I just wanted to. Just wanted to have it spinning menacingly in the background while I did that. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Okay, there we go. Get the money. Get the moolah that fell out of his pocket. Yeah, but this revolver. Uh, good. I think I've... S I mean, I don't even need to say anything. You you can see what it does. It's... It's that good. It's not very good against bigger enemies, but I mean, against, like, fodder enemies, which... Let's face it, are pretty much in every single fight. It's really good. Does a lot of damage. And also the range on the lock-on is pretty insane too. I think if I were to balance it, like one thing that I would probably do is one, make it so they can't shoot through walls, and two, make it so the lock-on range is slightly decreased. Like I don't want it to be super ineffective. But yeah, as it stands currently, it's kind of busted. You know what though, it's fun. I like it. It's a good weapon. In most games, the shotgun's a workhorse weapon, but this thing's really the workhorse in this game. Also, he was just saying they're waiting for it. What the hell? He didn't even try. He was just like, ah, yeah. You know what? This guy's gonna shoot me. That's okay. He's like, gave up. Yeah, and as you can see, this game revolves a lot around just sliding into enemies to kill them. That's like what you'll be doing 90% of the time. The other... 10% of the time you'll be shooting stuff, most likely with the lock-on revolver, because it's that good. Except for this guy, I'm not gonna use it on him, he's kinda tanky. Instead I'll waste my charge shot and completely miss him. Yeah, but then you can slide into him for a free kill. I, I told you, sliding, it's really good. You'll be doing it a lot. And if you're not doing it a lot, then I gotta say you're playing the game wrong. You gotta be sliding, constantly. And dashing, even if there's like no enemies shooting at you. It's just good practice, good habit to get into. Oh yeah, you know what I need is a gun upgrade station so I can upgrade my Uzis and make them usable. They're not unusable right now, I just don't like them. It's kind of weak, I don't know, I don't like the feeling of them. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I killed someone. Beautiful. There we go. Okay. Here we go. 
And now, you can toss your SMG. By the way, that actually hurts enemies. Not a lot, but it does hurt them. Which is pretty funny. But yeah, this is basically the better version. And all you have to do to activate it, just alt fire. That's it. And now you have just a straight up better weapon. That, that's like the... That, that's the upgrade. It just gives you a better version of the weapon that you have. Oh, look at that. I 100% of that one too. I didn't even try. Beautiful. Okay, now we go to Battle Alley, which probably has one of my favorite soundtracks in the entire game. This game has a lot of really good soundtracks, by the way. Might be one of my favorite OSTs I've heard in a while. Siberian Mayhems was absolutely godlike, but you know what? For an 80s action sh shooter, I think this has... Well, there's not a lot of them like it. First of all, second, this OST just rocks. That's all I gotta say. Also, these cutscenes are just phenomenal. Like this one here, your character could so easily just like slide dash through these, or you could just like vault over it, but nope. He has to do this. Yeah, he has to fucking pull on this, the invisible string to cut through them cleanly. Like the chatty is. Look, what an intro! <laughs> Does it need to be that elaborate? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> That's so good. He just cuts through them. Like, ah, yeah. You know what? You know what? I could do, like, this overpowered slide move through them, or I could, like, take my time and cut through it like a real man. And that's, and that's the option that he chose, and I respect him for it. Oh yeah, speaking of enemies, hello, here they are. Yep, and here's the better weapon. As you can see, slower rate of fire, but the damage... The damage is honestly busted on the same two, but in a good way. Let's see, I know if there's enemies hiding down there. Can't fool me that easily. Ah, hello. Oh yeah, and there's a secret weapon. If you look up, by looking at these arrows, you can shoot that switch, and... You get a twin incendiary minigun. Which is basically this game's chain gun. Heavy cannon, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's that weapon archetype, the one that just shoots a bunch of bullets. So yeah, basically the SMG is but better. Which again is another redundant reason to use the SMG over the assault rifle. Because you basically have another weapon that already fulfills that role. So, assault rifle and this. That's usually what I do. I'm not saying that the Uzis are useless, but they kind of are. At least in my eyes. They do get better in the second chapter of the game, but that's quite a ways off from that. We have, like, a bunch of levels between that and this. Ooh, and I am not focused. I almost died to whatever killed me. Isn't that the story of everything? Like, I almost died to whatever killed me. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> If you can't see what's trying to kill you, then chances are you'll die to it. <laughs> like, that's just how it works. Oh yeah, and there is a secret here I remember. Yeah, there we go. Got one of the cassette tapes. This level, I don't think I know where everything is by heart. But I know where some things are. And that's good enough. Also, let me collect the cash. Oh yeah, you could also just drop down to the cassette tape from up here. But I wanted to be fancy and do the parkour. I think if you could bend your bullets around walls, that would be cool, but being able to just shoot straight through them is kind of stupid. And a little bit busted, like this assault rifle. Do you see how little ammo it took to kill him? Not to mention I got almost all my ammo back from killing him. But it, it's ridiculously good. But you know what, that's part of the charm. Part of the charm is this game has absolutely busted weapons. But they're all fun to use. Also, the enemy damage from projectiles, at least, is pretty busted, as you can see. I like using the word busted a lot. I don't know why. It's just fun. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Where do I go from here? I kind of forgot. 
Oh, I think I go over here. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, and then we fight the Grenader. It's actually a Grenadier, but I have this friend of mine that calls him Grenader. So yeah, from now on, that's what I'll call them too, just to spite people. Call them Grenader, even though it's Grenadier. Ooh, that's a lot of enemy. I'll kill him if I can hit him. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, where's the- oh, there he is. I knew he was around the corner somewhere. Ooh, one health. That's not good. I could really use some health. That would be nice. But I don't think the game's that generous. Ah, here they go. Also, I just jumped over that man's projectile. I'm so lucky. One shot can still kill me, even with 84 armor. So I'm not quite in the clear yet. Oh yeah, we also get the uh, Sawn-Off shotgun. Literally, Sawn-Off. You just saw it off right there. Like a badass. Oh, and by the way, that's kind of weird because... It looks like that's his left hand that he's twirling it with, but I guess because I've centered view models and bigger weapon FOV, like it, it's actually his right hand, but it's like off to the side. It, it It's really weird looking, that's all I gotta say. Ooh. Um, also, how do I take care of this? The situation here looks kind of bad. I'll, I'll do that. I'm not, I'm not scared, I'll just jump in. Yeah, there we go. It was time to be scared. I sure as hell don't. There we go. Oh yeah, and we also get this. Also, I have no idea how he pulled his foot out of there, along with his leg. You know, I've actually kind of wondered that for the longest time. Like, how do people actually get other people's feet out of shoes? I know that, that sounds really stupid, but I wonder that all the time. Because you know in video games, like, a lot of the time if someone has, like, a severed leg or something, they'll, like, pull their foot out or whatever, like that guy just did. But they don't bother, like, actually working it off the heel. They just pull it straight out. To me, it looks like the leg would rip off and the foot would still be in the shoe. So you would basically be wearing, like, a second person's foot on top of your foot, if that makes sense. Does that make sense to anyone else? Is my logic sound, or am I just insane? Because I don't know, like, to me it seems not possible to do. Uh, recent data suggests in central database is located outside of Paradise, on the orbital station Vector 4. Oh yeah, this upgrade kind of sucks. Not actually gonna equip it. You keep your gimmicky metal ass away from my headquarters! Central database is worth trillions! You cripple that, you cripple the economy of every world spinning! It's all cripple you. You need to break my toys, you understand? I you understand, see? Yeah. Dealing <laughs> with the shit tsunami that is paradise! I don't know, paradise is pretty good right now. I don't know what you're on about. Lots of killing going on. I got good guns. I mean, what's not to love, really? Yeah, but good old dumping is actually kind of a reliability. So what it does is it basically makes you do, like, splash damage whenever you hit the ground from a high altitude. And by high, I mean not even that far up. And I can't tell you how many times I've blown up an explosive barrel on accident that killed me because I had that stupid perk equipped. So you know what? Not gonna use it. I don't even give a shit. Not going to equip it whatsoever. Just gonna forget it's even there. Oh, and look at that, we got all of our armor back. As a matter of fact, we have a full stack of armor just because those guys lended it to us. It's like that one kunai spy in Team Fortress 2 lobbies that like stabs like your brain dead teammates and then he's invulnerable. That that's basically like the equivalent of what that was. Like you just mindlessly run into mindless enemies and get rewarded for it. It's pretty good though, not gonna lie. I like the little armor icon and stuff that appears. 
Yeah, I mean, these guys are projectile flingers, but you can still melee them. There's nothing in the game that says you can't do that. It's just usually not a good idea. Oh yeah, this place. Uh, what do we have? We have this brainless fool. Yeah, there we go. Eh, actually I don't need that. Yeah, there we go, that's better. And you will just shoot. Okay, where are the enemies? Oh, there's some. Alright. Also, I kind of forgot that I had the super shotgun until right now. Oh yeah, you see that? That's the combo that we're going to be using for pretty much all the close quarters fights. Because it's super effective. Yeah, so... Super shotgun, regular shotgun, super shotgun, regular shotgun. That's... That is the combo that works the most. Also, I shouldn't be on the tracks. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why I decided to jump back down. I guess I really wanted that money. Some of the rat merchants rubbing off into Turbo Overkill now. Gotta collect that gold. Oh yeah, these guys are actually not that bad. Especially if you have this. You just kind of shoot them. And then whenever they get close, stun them with the super shotgun. And then you can combo their asses. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so the Leapers, uh, they are kind of cool, actually. So what makes them unique is they'll leap and then they'll kind of slam the ground wherever they land and they'll do, like, as you can see, kind of like an... Like, they'll leave behind damaging floor. It's pretty nice. I think they're actually a well-thought-out enemy. I personally like them quite a bit. Also, I like how it said low health and I still had like, 73. That just goes to show, like, how damaging their projectiles are. Like, it literally tricks the game into thinking that you're on critical health because they do that much damage in such a short amount of time. Alright, here we go. We got the Grenader. I said. Yeah, there we go. He's supposed to die when I kill him. Yeah, look, look how flawless the combo is. It's so good. That he didn't even know what to do. He still doesn't know what to do. I meleeed him. He's supposed to melee me, not the other way around. What the fuck? <laughs> It's destroyed him. That's so stupid. I actually wasn't expecting that to work out as well as it did. Just kind of worked. Yeah, that's right, boy. Get out of here. Oh, and this stupid bitch is still talking about consuming flesh and stuff. Satanic ho, get out of here. Hey, what's back here? Nothing, that's right. Yeah, I'm a little rusty on this map, I'm not sure where everything is. I do know that there's a secret here though, and I don't know how to get it. But first... Oh, I didn't hit anyone. Okay. That's fine. There, I'll just shoot two people. And they'll have to deal with it. Hey, I got all the tech chips. That's cool. If only I knew where the rest of the stuff was. But I don't. I'll have to probably look it up. Because I will say, Escape Secrets, for the most part, are pretty well hidden. It's only in the first two levels that you can kind of, you know, just walk around and find them pretty easily. Here, though, it's not quite as simple. There he goes. 
Alright. Good stuff. Uh, let me see, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, this. I was actually looking for this. So there's two upgrades I want to buy. Uh, the first one, I'm probably going to get this. Second is definitely going to be Flash. That's going to be the better upgrade. So I'll need 3800 for it, just to keep that in mind, I guess. So instead of this stupid thing, which ends up killing me more than half the time, I will instead go for this. Why? Well, 6 armor on chainsaw damage and 6 HP on kill? That's pretty busted, as you can imagine. Most fights have a lot of fodder enemies, as you see, so you can just kind of slide around like a maniac and just basically be untouchable. And whenever you do get touched, like, you can just... That, that sounds weird, too. <laughs> whenever you get touched. <laughs> well, whenever an enemy, like, hits you, right? Like, you can just, like, restock very fast. That's the whole idea behind it. I have such a way with words. <laughs> whenever you get touched. <laughs> what the fuck? Whenever I get touched in the head. Like... There. Oh, I'm so fucking retarded. Okay, anyways, let's go under this. Ooh, money. I will gladly take it. Because remember, when I reach that milestone, I'm gonna need to... splurge. Oh yeah, we also got this upgrade. Well, it's not an upgrade to power up. But yeah, basically it makes your weapons 100% accurate. Even stuff like the Super Shotgun, which is pretty insane if you ask me. Yeah, look at that. You just slide all over the place. The enemies can't do anything about it. And it also kind of gives you a confidence boost too, because you realize that, wait, I can't die as easily. Because you're basically sliding all over the place collecting shit. So yeah, you're unstoppable. For the most part. There are some enemies later that will test your skill, but for now we're pretty good. Also, how long have I been recording? For 30 minutes? Hey, you know what? I think I'm good for maybe one, two more levels. I might actually call it after this level, because I remember this one being pretty lengthy, so we'll do this one and wrap it up, I guess. I doubt I'll complete this one in under 15 minutes. I would be very surprised if I did. Just because it's confusing more than anything. This level in particular is now the one that confuses me the most. The Central District of Paradise. I don't know why, it just does. Oh, Would here we go. The machine guns? Nah, I got a better idea. Watch this. Same man, just gonna cruise on in. Like ro low rider. Am I right? That, I suppose. Ouch, by the way. You know I'm in here, don't you? I have feelings, Johnny. Well, I care, but the protagonist doesn't. <laughs> I actually think uh, Sam's a cool guy. He reminds me of a certain other Sam who's pretty serious. Only if he was British and, like, really polite. Okay, so not Sam at all, but you get what I mean. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just enter and, like, all the enemies are sitting there. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but, like, uh, the, little smi the little smiley face on the minigun is actually supposed to be your ammo counter. I know it's not very intuitive, but basically it smiles when you're, I think, above 450 rounds. It kind of has, like, the yellow kind of mid face, like, if you're around 300-ish bullets or so, and then it makes, like, the big frowny face with, like, the X's over the eyes, and it's red if you're... I think like 150 or below or... I, I'm not sure actually how exactly it works. All I know is that it does and it's cool. It's a nice little detail. Definitely not what I would consider to be a conventional ammo counter, but you know what? It's cool. It does what it's supposed to. Kind of gives you a general idea. Oh, you know what? Yeah, take that. You think I won't do it? I will kill you, just by throwing continuous Uzis at you. 
<laughs> and I said this gun wasn't good for anything. Would have been faster had I shot him. Probably. Would have been as fun though. Also probably. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted that. I just wanted to do a stupid joke. And there it goes. That, that was the joke. I hope you laughed. Put a lot of effort into that one, as you can tell. Put a lot of heart and soul into making you guys laugh with that one. Okay, what do we have over here? Ah, more enemies. Perfect. I'll just shoot you through the wall. There. Oh yeah, and I have these guys to just replenish my resources off of. How beautiful. What an absolute blessed game. Also, the big fat dude just took it. The fuck? <laughs> He's sat completely still. Uh, let's see, so there's actually two upgrades I want to buy. First being F-Bomb, second being Flash. Both are really good. And then the rest of the upgrades I want until Chapter 2, I'm pretty sure, are ones that you'll actually get just by playing the game and discovering the chest locations. So I'm not too worried. Let's go underwater because I remember there's a secret here. And I'm right, there is a tech chip. And also some ammo that I don't need, but eh, it's cool. Yeah, once I buy those two upgrades, then I'll probably... Excuse me, I got hiccups. Anyways, I'm trying to say then I'll start working on my weapon upgrades. Yeah, look at that. Easy pickings. Uh, easy. You just you know, jump all around and kick them in the face with your chainsaw boot. Ooh, you guys think he could shoot me? He actually got a shot off. Well done. Can't say the same for the rest of you, though. That missed? Because I'm the best. Best at FPS games, as you can tell. I completely know what I'm doing every time I play one of these. The biocore is located in the central bank. However, there's no accessing it until this district's lockdown is lifted. The control ah, boo. console is located in the nearby police precinct. That sounds Any like piss. Security is expected. Maybe our off-world friend can pull some strings. Got no strings to pull. You're a troublemaker. Yeah, a lot so of help you are. Notion, go make some trouble. Wow, why ain't this person useful? So useful. Thank you. I would never have thought to have done that without your words of wisdom to guide me. Okay, so what do we do? Oh yeah, just like a random super shotgun saying there. I guess just for fun. And what else do we do? Can we go back here? We can. But I think we have to backtrack. Boo. I don't want to backtrack. That's lame. Okay, so I guess I do have to backtrack. whoop de doo Okay, at least it's not that far away, though. You just go up here. Is there anything up here? No. Now, is there anything up here? That's the real question. And there is not. What about up here? Oh yeah, there is. Also, these guys I think are immune to electricity, so I'm not even going to bother with the charge shot. It does do pretty nice explosion damage still, I think, but... I don't know, I'm pretty sure they're all but immune to it. So, you know what? Not even gonna try. Oh yeah, you know what the other thing is? There's not a rocket launcher in this level, but there's rockets. Yeah, that's what these uh, weird 
source missing texture things are. Only it's... You know what? Let me see if I can actually make it look like a missing texture. Let's see, what, what are the HUD options here for, like, the... Can I do, like... What does that look like? No. Blue. Oh, wait, no, it still has a tint on it. Okay, whatever. I'm setting it back to green. Just because I like green. Wait. No, that's not it. HUD. Yeah, there we... There we go. I thought for some reason, like, the HUD color actually determined the item pickup color as well. I guess it's just a coincidence that I chose to have a green HUD with green pickups. Oh, hello. Don't think I don't see that. Oh, nice. Actually got another tech chip. That's cool. Oh yeah, but you know what the strange thing is? There's actually no secret rocket launchers in this level as far as I could tell. But there is in the next level. So you're basically getting secret ammo for a weapon that you don't actually get until the next level. If you find it, that is. Which really isn't that hard in retrospect because it's... It's like right there as soon as you start the level. It's like in the first room, basically. You'll see, it's good. Anyways, let's go in here. Ooh, let's... Ow. Okay, cool. Ah, yes. Just keep coming at me. Deliver me health and armor. It's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> Look how busted it is. Just like run into them and they just give you health and armor. Oop, no you don't. I thought he was gonna get the drop on me. I actually thought that was a sign that I could wall run on. Oh no, you can wall run on this. For a cassette. That's two of them. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, where do I go? Is there anything over here? No. Okay. Well, I guess we just... Ooh, hello. Okay, let me back up really quick. Yeah, there we go. Give me a delicious health and armor. Look at that, I'm basically up to full again. How beautiful. Yeah, and since melee damage, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any multipliers on it, I didn't take hardly any damage from that dude's leaping attack. I don't know why it isn't just like a solid, like, damage uptick, instead of making it just so that projectiles do more. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Then again, I don't know anything about game development, so... What do I know? Maybe there's like a really good reason for it. That I'm just not aware of. Drones! Oh yeah, these guys suck. Not, not a big fan of them. They actually do become easier after you get out of this place. By a little bit. Not by a lot, but... Eh, they still become easier and that's good. Alright, there's the first one. And number two. There we go. Oh yeah, and we have one of these. And I believe the key is right here. Yeah, there we go. Now, it's actually important that you do get this one. Because it will give you a super duper good upgrade. The Zen Magnet. Actually, let me go equip it really quick since this is right here. Yeah, so basically whenever enemies drop money, you instantly grab it. It is very, very, very good and much needed. I will eventually replace it, but not for like, I think another two or three missions. So yeah, you don't have to worry about money falling off ledges anymore. It'll just automatically get added. 
All right, here we go. The doors open. Except for that one. That one's pretty jammed shut. We'll need to do something about it. Sir, a complication. Sin's tethers have clogged the door to the bank. You will need to manually destroy the tethers. Sending you the coordinates now. Oh yeah, you know what's funny? You actually do get this, which is basically another rocket launcher. But it's actually on cooldown. Yeah, so this game gives you two rocket launchers. Imagine that, two rocket launchers. You got one that's on your wrist and you got another one that's... And also, I don't know why, but the HUD icon appears to be grayed out. Even though it's... Not currently the case. Not sure what the deal is there, but whatever. Oh yeah, and I do remember that there's actually a somewhat difficult fight here, if I remember. Oh yeah, it's against these. Oh, we have the rocket launcher for our arm that just recharges. Yeah, look at that. Look how beautiful. Look at how absolutely stupid. It's so good. Then we give this guy the old wombo combo. There we go. Yeah, he's beyond dead. There's no coming back from that. There we go, just give him the old chainsaw treatment. Hey, your bullets hurt. Look at out of here. Alright. Let's see, can I buy the upgrade now? Hmm, I think between the two I will do... Shit, actually I don't know which one I'll do. You know what, I'll do F-bomb first. The dash recharge can wait. As much as I don't want it to. Yeah, so basically it spawns cluster bombs every time it kills an enemy. Isn't that beautiful? Or actually, no, it's not, it's, not, it's not even every time you kill an enemy, it's every time it hits an enemy. Yeah, so you don't even need to kill them, they'll just spawn cluster bombs. It's so good. <laughs> I, I think that's like the summary of this game, is like everything's busted, so none of it's busted. Like, if that makes any sense. I mean, the game is literally called Turbo Overkill, you'd expect it to be kind of unhinged. And that it is. Alright, what do we get here? Oh yeah, we get the most annoying enemies possible. There we go, just gonna give him the old F-bomb. Yeah, it took care of everything. L look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. They, they just didn't even have a chance. Oh yeah, and also this jump pad is here because you're supposed to jump over to hit the drones. But, really, who has time for that? Oh, there's the final cassette tape. Okay, so I basically just need to find a way to get up there. I think I know how to do it. Maybe. Uh, this isn't it. This is actually the objective that I need to go to. Just gonna lay down suppressive fire as I go in circles. There we go. Got one, got two, okay, good. Okay, how to get to that? Let's see, if I had to guess, you might be able to drop down to it from up here somewhere? Where even is it? Hold up, no, that can't be it. Yeah, we're not even in the right place. Oh, there is a way to get up there. I see it. Aha! Okay, I figured it out. Oh my god, I'm actually getting 100% without trying. This is amazing. 
Okay, yeah, so instead of taking the bounce pad, you actually take this. Cool. Cool, cool. Hey, there we go, we did it. We got all the stuffs. Now we just need to make sure to kill all the enemies. Which shouldn't be too hard, I don't think I'm gonna miss any. Not the right time going. Hey, yeah, there we go, yeah, just dash all around and make them confused. They don't know what to do about it. Hey, you know what? You deserve a rocket. Yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love this stupid game. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, just shoot them through the wall. Alright, and now we make this thing go boom and it screams. Yeah, the tentacles just scream at you. Like, where are their vocal cords? <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Just one more tether to go. Damn right. That was some good shooting. Some good rootin' tootin' shooting action right there. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, there we go. I got all of you. My rocket's almost recharged. Hopefully I get to shoot something with it. Ooh. Party favors. Nice. Those guys are the best. Yeah, there we go. You know how Doom Eternal, like, made you go around, like, torching everything and then killing them? This game's just like, nah, just slide into them. It's much faster. Isn't that nice? Like, how considerate for the player's time. Instead of, like, constantly having to stop and do glory kills, you just slide in like that and they're dead. And you get resources for it. It's a beautiful system. Okay, now the real question is, where do I go for the other tentacle? Because I legit forget. I believe it is somewhere over here? Now, we did the cinema already, so we need to go somewhere else. Maybe it's up here? Oh, so it is. Wait, we already did this. No way we didn't. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, we already went here, but then I remembered I didn't actually enter the building. Duh. You have to enter the building to do the thing, stupid. I remember I just made, like, a quick pit stop here for some reason. There we go, they both get rockets. What do you know? It's effective. Wow, you're telling me that shooting enemies and then having the explosion cause explosions works? Nah, I don't believe you. <laughs> you're telling me that that's effective? Nah, no way. No way is that effective. But it is. Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, now we get to go to the final arena, which is kind of scary. Sir, we can now get inside the bank. If you wanted to splurge on upgrades to, uh, oh, I don't know, say, your car, now's the time. Hey, I totally would, but I'm not the protagonist. Protagonist, as far as I can tell, does not give a shit about his car. Well, that's not true. He gives, like, the minimal amount of shits for his car, and that's about it. Aw, oh, it's so juicy. Yes. Alright, I think now we go to the thing, which is up here, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, what what description? We go to the thing. I hate to say it, but the minigun is actually pretty useless. Like the assault rifle just does the job so much better. Even though it's more boring to look at, like, it actually functions a thousand times better. Just in terms of damage output, accuracy, all that shazam. Pizzazz, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's like the perfect tool to, like, kind of finish off or damage enemies from a range. Look at that. 
It's so good. You know what I will do? I will actually go back over here to this. Oh wait, this is the one that I don't want to go to. Uh, shit, where was the other one? I think it was by the cinema, if I remember. Or no, it wasn't here, it was... where was it? I believe it was over in this general vicinity. Okay, let me go back up. Okay, yeah, let me see. Um, da -da 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 -da, flash, there we go. I want that. That one's really good. Okay, now I can go to the machine. There we go. Flash. Nice. Flash. Ah. Do, do, who's gonna save every one of us? No, no. <laughs> A great song. There we go. Oh, it's Flash Gordon. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, enemies to shoot. How lovely. Go for my minions. I will actually switch to the chain gun for these guys. You know what, they actually do take blast damage. Good to know. And if you direct hit them... Oh yeah, it still does a lot of damage. As expected. Ooh. I don't like these things. These things are actually scary. On this difficulty. If you're playing on any of the lower difficulties, they're not that bad. But here, they are treacherous. Oh yeah, and just like the rockets, these will always find them, no matter what. It doesn't care where they're hiding. They'll just be found. Also, good timing on the rocket recharge. That couldn't have come at a better time, I don't think. Okay, well I missed 1% of the kills, but you know what, I kind of don't care. I feel like I got everyone. Alright, so I think that'll do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Peace.